Consider the following ordinary differential equations problem. I'm going to find the general solution to the linear ODE, x cubed y triple prime minus x squared y double prime plus 2xy prime minus 2y equals 0. And here we have x greater than 0. Now, this might not be the type of equation you're used to working with. Okay, usually when we have higher degrees, we have constant coefficients. Here we have functions of x out in front of our derivatives. So our technique is going to be substitution. Now, the idea behind our substitution, okay, either I want to do a substitution that will remove the x's, okay, functions of x out in front, or it's going to lower the degree of the polynomial. So in this case, we're going to choose a substitution that does our second option. Now, whenever I have a strange equation, okay, I like to play around with it a little bit to get an idea of whether Okay, there are obvious solutions, or if I can get some idea of what the behavior is like to guess some solutions. So here I'm just going to put in powers of x and see what happens. Now, if I let y be equal to 1, okay, we put it in through here, we note the derivatives all go away. I have minus 2 times 1 equal to 0. That's not going to be a solution. If I let y be equal to x, okay, we lose the first two derivatives. Then I'll have 2x minus 2x equal to 0. So I found a solution with y equals x. Likewise, if I try y equals x squared, we have a solution. If I try y equal to x cubed, I'm not going to find a solution. And we note for any higher monomials, they're not going to be solutions either. So just by playing around with the equation, I found two solutions. Okay, this is third order. So we're just missing one to get the basis to make linear combinations out of. Now, this is actually very helpful, okay, because I know that some of our solutions are in the form ax plus bx squared. It makes sense to pull an x out of here. So instead of looking for y's that satisfy this equation, we're instead going to look for u's where y is equal to x times u. Now, that's going to change the original equation when we put x u into it. So let's see what happens. Now, y is going to be equal to x times u. y prime, using our product rule, is going to be u plus x u prime. Okay, u is a function of x. Then we keep taking derivatives. So y double prime will be 2u prime plus x u double prime. y triple prime is 3u double prime plus x u triple prime. Now, we put that through our equation, see what comes out. So the y, okay, we're going to take x u and multiply by a minus 2 y prime, we multiply by 2x. y double prime, I multiply by minus x squared. And then the y triple prime, we multiply by x cubed. When I add all this up, what we get is x to the fourth power, u triple prime, plus 2x cubed, u double prime, equal to 0. Now, we can divide through by an x cubed to get the equation. x u triple prime plus 2 u double prime equals 0. This is much nicer looking than our original equation. So now it's just finishing the problem off. Now, we substitute v equal to u double prime. We could lower the degree of our new equation. So that'll give us xv prime plus 2v equals 0. This we can solve by using separation of variables. So this becomes v prime over v equal to minus 2 over x. I have a derivative over itself. So, if we integrate both sides with respect to x, this becomes natural log of v. Over here, we have minus 2 natural log of x plus a constant. Okay, and here, because I'm assuming x is greater than 0, I can ignore absolute value signs. Using the exponent rule for logarithm, we can move the minus 2 above the x. Now, we use our usual procedure for removing natural log. Okay, I'm using the fact that exponential and natural log are inverse functions. So e to the natural log of box is equal to box. That gives me the equation v equals c2 x to the minus 2. Now, this is equal to u double prime. So all I need to do is integrate twice to get to u. For our first integration, okay, we have u prime equal to, that's going to be a minus c2 x to the minus 1 plus v. I'm going to let the minus 1 be absorbed into c2, and I'll just call our constant c now. If we integrate again, Okay, the x to the minus 1 becomes natural log of x. We have bx, and then we have another constant. 
and that's our solution for u. Now, to get y, we just multiply that by x. So solution of our problem, okay, all general solutions are given in the form cx natural log of x plus bx squared plus ax, that's equal to our y. Just in case, we check that x natural log of x is a solution to the original problem. So we'll take x natural log of x, put it into our original ODE. So we work out each derivative, okay, x natural log of x, y prime is natural log of x plus one, y double prime is one over x, and y triple prime is minus x to the minus two. We multiply by the corresponding factors. Then we note everything cancels out nicely, so x natural log of x is our third solution.